going to be a really, really, really dirty show. For many, it's hard to sympathize with Mike Ward, welcome, the comic who was fined for making fun of a child with a disability. You having a good day? Okay, awesome. My day has been For others, his punishment is draconian. I'm worried that we're trying to victimize everyone and uh, trying to frame the, the freedom of speech. Your freedom of speech, mine and everyone, is being under attack now. But the Ward controversy is just an extreme example of a battle that's been brewing for a while, with comedians claiming that political correctness is damaging their art form. There's a creepy PC thing out there that really bothers me. All humor is critical. If you start saying, oh, we mustn't, we mustn't criticize or offend them, then humor's gone. There's even a new documentary about hypersensitive audiences called Can We Take a Joke? If you're easily offended, please don't come to a comedy show. The debate is not new, but according to some of these comics, social media has made it easier than ever for people to mobilize and attack comedians whose jokes they find offensive. Evan Carter says comics today are scrutinized more than in the 1980s when he started. They've picked out two minutes of a one-hour show that, that just, you know, completely out of context, and next thing you know, boom. It's, it's on Twitter, it's on Instagram, it's up on Facebook. Still, Carter teaches his stand-up students at Second City that political correctness is not the enemy. Craft the joke, build the joke, so that the audience goes, yeah, I probably shouldn't be laughing at this, but I, I see your point and I'm willing to, to learn from it. But if it's somebody that, that's just coming up and punching you in the face while you're standing there, uh, with a line or, or, or uh, with a word that's just there to shock you. Well, you know, that really doesn't take much of a craft at all. Walking the fine line of keeping comedy edgy and not offending people in an age when an ill-placed line can provoke much more than just booze. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.